From Maya's Closet and Canada Tool present Easy Headband Tutus. In this tutorial, Stacy of From Maya's Closet will demonstrate how to make a tutu using a crochet headband. Aside from tool and a stretchy crochet headband, you should have a mannequin or a round object to hold your headband while you work. We bought this 8 inch builder's tube at Home Depot. Start by stretching the headband over the tube. You should already know your color choices and the length of the tutu. We are using 6 inch width spools from Canada Tool for this tutu and want it to be 10 inches long. Measure and cut a small piece of cardboard to 10 inches. Using basic hair clips or something to hold the tool in place, attach the tool to the cardboard. You will wrap the tool completely around the cardboard with each complete rotation being one strip for the tutu. The number of strips required is based on the number of holes in the headband. Wrap the tool all the way around the board both sides. That is one full strip. Now repeat for the rest of the strips. Two, three strips, four strips, and so on until you have enough strips for your tutu. Each strip will be twice as long as the board, or in our case, 20 inches. You will always end where your clips are, so it's easy to keep track. Using sharp scissors, carefully cut the loose piece of tool at the same length as the board. Then, inserting the scissors at the base of the board, cut through all of the tool. This one cut will make all of the strips you counted at once. For this tutu, we are actually using pink tool, but the pixie green was great for the demo. You will be looping the tool around each of the bottom squares of the headband for your first row, the second row on the second set of squares, and your third row on the third set of squares. You will always be tying the tool around the squares and not the threads. Take one strip of tool and fold it in half the width. Then bring the two ends together, folding it in half lengthwise. Your strip is now the length of the tutu. Taking the folded end of the tool, insert it through the hole directly above one of the bottom squares. Pull it through from the back of the headband and open it to make a loop. Pull the loose ends up and make sure they're even, then pull them together through the loop to form a knot. Pull it tight to lock it in place. On a crochet headband, it is actually quite hard for these knots to come undone, so this is a great way to tie the tool onto the headband. Continue with the rest of the squares on the bottom row, pushing the folded ends of the tool through the hole and out through the bottom, checking that the loose ends are even, and pulling them through the loop to make a knot. When you are finished row 1 around the entire tutu, it's time to start row 2. We are only doing a portion of the tutu for this tutorial, but yours will go all the way around. Row 2 starts with the square between each of the two strands on the first row. Do the same thing with the second row as you did with the first, folding the tool, looping the folded end through the hole above the square and out the bottom. Check that the ends are even and pull back through the loop to form a knot. Continue all the way around, filling in each of the squares between the first strands. It is important to note that the tool goes all the way to the bottom of the headband and not through the hole between the thread and the square. The third row is looped over the square right above the first row. Find the square and loop the tool through the hole right above it. This time, the tool will loop behind and be pulled out through the hole immediately below the square, not all the way to the bottom of the headband. 
Open the loop the same way, check that the ends are even, and pull them through to form a knot. You can see that the third row is actually hanging over top of the first layer. This is important as it allows many different effects. The first and second rows are actually side by side and will blend. Locate the next square and continue to loop the tool around the squares, remembering to loop through the holes above and below the square, not all the way to the bottom. Now that we've gone all the way around the third layer, let's take a look at the different layers of the tutu. We can see that this is layer number one. Layer number two. And layer number three. The only thing left to do is to trim the tutu. In trimming the tutu, we are just looking to ensure ratty looking edges are evened up, not to take any length off the skirt. We do this by grabbing one strand from each row at a time, pulling the strands together, and carefully trimming just the very tip that doesn't match up. Do this all the way around the tutu to ensure it's even. You may wish to clip a hair clip onto the headband to mark your starting point so you don't trim around the outside forever. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make an easy headband tutu, demonstrated by Stacy of From Maya's Closet and myself, Adam from Canada Tool. For more information on great tutus and other accessories, please visit Stacy at FromMayasCloset.com Or to purchase tool, crochet headbands, or other wedding, apparel, tutu, and crafting supplies, you can contact us at CanadaTool.com or join our forum.